Hello everyone, welcome back to PJ's Tech Class. Today I would like to answer questions from my YouTube channel subscriber. The question was how to apply the color on the model. When we're talking about a color, there are two different kind of color we talk about. First is for easier to read uh, on the model if you have multiple parts together, whether they are in the same layer or not. The other one is color for the rendering. So let's talk about the color for the model. On the layer uh, window right here, you may have multiple layer right here. Each layer you have a colors. Now those three black colors is because they are in the default layer. I can change uh, the color entirely going to the default. You click on this little square box. Once you click on it, then you will have a color chart coming out. You can choose any of those color, or you can move in the mouse on this little circle, uh, and then you can see the preview on the bottom for what is gonna coming up next. So I'm going to pick this light blue-ish blue, uh, color, and then I click OK, and all of a sudden you have entire layer is changing to this color. Notice that I'm in the uh, ghost view. It will apply the same way if you in the shaded view. Okay, what happened if I wanted to change this color, but still keep all the model in the same layer? You can go to the property and right in the property. There's always a lot of information here. Um, first, uh, on the second row here, say the layer is on the default, but I don't. I want to change only color on a colorful model on specific on this model so I will go to let's say I want to change it into the green color now they are in the same layer but in different color okay what if you want to change to other layer here's what you do you click on your model you go into the layer and then you can pick on any layer you want I want let's say I want to change to layer 3 then I will change object to the layer. Now you have this object. It will represent whatever the layer what the color was assigned for that layer. Okay. Notice that colorful render this model is in the same different layer with colorful metal. Okay. So now let's take a look on colorful rendering. If I go to the render view. Um, I'm going to go back still back to the top uh, perspective. If I go to the render view, you're going to see everything is in kind of grayish color. This is by default. Uh, there's no material assigned for it. Color for the rendering, you have to assign a material for it. So how do you assign a material? You can go into the click pick up any part. That you want to assign material go to the property on the second icon here is called material and then you can click on it now to basic assign a material uh, i'm gonna make this a little bit bigger for you to see so you can choose the color so for example i want them to be a uh, yellowish tone so i pick up this yellow color and i click ok and then very soon you will see the color on it. All right. You can also do a lot of the changing uh, right here on the bottom. You can make them more transparent. You can have a bump if you want to have a texture. And those also has advanced setting. Um, you can have a different type of a setting, lighting, and things on it. So um, a lot of setting you can do on here to change the colors on the model. And if I switch back to the ghost view or shaded view, notice that the color will turn it back to whatever you were assigned on the model. So there's a very difference. The two color things we we're talking about first is for the model, and second one is for the rendering. I hope I answered that questions, and feel free to send me a message if you have other questions. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my other video soon.